Hey my friends and welcome back to And Then There Was Style. Thanks for coming back. If you have not done so already, definitely take a moment to subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also take a moment to scroll through some of our previous videos. You guys, we have a few videos on everything. But today, let's talk about barn doors. And then in the second half of this video, we're going to talk about pocket doors. Now, if you have not had a chance already, definitely go ahead and follow us on Facebook. And then there was style. Just join our home decor group there. It's absolutely free. We are also on TikTok and Pinterest, both at and then there was style. I'm really trying to get my Pinterest going. You guys, I can get on there for hours. It's really scary, but head on over, follow me there, and let's continue the conversation over there. But now, let's get into the video. So one question that I always tend to get when it comes to barn doors are, are barn doors out of style? And my answer to this, not likely. Just as other home decor styles evolve, so do barn door styles. You're not limited anymore to the classic Z barn door. And in fact, barn door refers more to the functionality of a sliding door instead of the specific style of that door. These days, you can get sliding barn doors in any color or style, even metal and glass, if you think the wood wouldn't really match your home decor style. Now, we are also going to talk about pocket doors in the second half of this video. And honestly, pocket doors are a lot more difficult to install. That's just kind of being honest. And you may need a contractor to help you do it. But barn doors are so simple. Because barn doors are lightweight and installed on a track, the majority of the weight and strain is removed from the person opening the door, making them an excellent option for people of all ages and physical conditions. So while standard doors need a really wide area to open and close, barn doors only require adequate wall space, meaning you can make maximum use of your square footage for furniture and decor. Every inch counts when planning out your rooms and the up to 14 square feet of floor space a barn door can add makes them incredibly practical. If you have a large room that you would like to divide into two smaller areas, for example, a dining room that would hold the entire family at Thanksgiving, but will also host more intimate dinner parties, then a barn door is perfect. I actually had some friends who DIY their own barn doors in their dining room and it came out beautifully. So whether you choose to have barn doors or pocket doors, which we will get into really soon, it's really all depending on the look you like and the ease of constructing it or putting it together. If you or your spouse, significant other, you don't have a really extreme level of construction skills, maybe a pocket door wouldn't be the easiest DIY for you as opposed to placing barn doors in your room. Alright guys, let's get into the second half of this video and talk about pocket doors. So pocket doors are the perfect addition to homes that don't really have a lot of extra space and want an extra bit of whimsy built right into its foundation. So with a sliding frame and a disappearing effect when it's completely closed, when you don't have the room for a door that has a swinging hinge, then this is absolutely the best option just to, to implement this magical design in your home. So let's talk about some of the pros of pocket doors. 
They work in any decor. Pocket doors fit into any decor from traditional to contemporary. They are a wonderful detail and many homeowners love them. They can be really simple or really dressed up. Number two, they are functional. Pocket doors are a great option for smaller rooms that may not have space for a full swing door. They are perfect for closets connecting two spaces. They're also a great way to create a private area within a larger space. For example, hiding in an office space like from the kitchen. Pocket doors can be built with partial height doors, offering an elegant solution for keeping pets or kids safely in one place. Number three, they can act as art. As an interior design element, pocket doors can give you the opportunity to experiment with colors and textures without taking a big risk since the doors are hidden most of the time. You can also restore original elements to historic homes by adding period specific details to your space. Alright guys, so let me know down below in the comments section, did you have a favorite barn door look or pocket door look? Be sure to let me know, like I said, down below. And if you can't pinpoint that you had a favorite, would you do this look in your home? I know my father-in-law and mother-in-law just built a new home and one thing they absolutely did not want was barn doors. Barn doors are great for saving space, but it was just the look of it they did not want. They were very strict on that. So let me know down below. Do you object to having barn doors in the house? Is it something you like? Why or why not? I am all ears. Alright guys, so as always, I have already asked you to comment down below what your favorite look was. If you want to know mine, as far as barn doors, it was this just because I thought it was beautiful. And as far as pocket doors, same reason this. Guys, this was so light and airy and gorgeous. I just really loved it. Alright guys, that was today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with other home decor lovers, and subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. It's been so fun guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye!